Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So I am here today to share with y'all my nighttime skincare routine. So the first thing I do is I wash my face with a oil cleanser. This is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Skin Therapy Cleansing Oil and it does have um, I think rosehip oil in it as well. So I do this because I wear sunscreen during the day and it's very important that you double cleanse to make sure you get that sunscreen off. So here you just see me cleansing my face with that. All I did was wet my face and put a, some of the product in to my hands and then rub it in really good on my face. And then it kind of um, doesn't really sud up, but in a way it does, if that makes any sense. And um, you just rub it in really good. So after you rub in the product thoroughly, you are then going to make sure you rinse it off thoroughly. Get as much of the product off of your face as you can. And then I'm going in with my CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. I'm first going to put some in my hands and then I'm going to rub it all over my face. And then you'll see me pick up a, a facial spinning brush. Now this facial spinning brush I received from Duval. They reached out to me and asked if I would like to review some of their products and I agreed to do that. So I'm using this spin, spinning brush to clean my face. I am using the, uh, the cleansing head of it to go ahead and cleanse my face. It does have four heads to it. It has a body brush, a pumice stone, a cleansing brush, and then it also has an exfoliating brush as well. This does take four AA batteries, so if you pick this up, be sure to use my code Wendy Renee to receive 70% off of the product. I will have all of the information as well as my promo code listed down below in my description box. Make sure you click on that and use the code Wendy Renee to receive 70% off. While I'm using the spinning brush on my face, I'm being sure not to press down too hard on my face because I do think that really is a thing. I think people sometimes wash their faces too hard if that makes any sense. So I'm being very gentle on my skin. Right now, my skin is not the clearest. I've had way clearer skin if you've been watching me for any number of years. I've never really had any breakouts or anything like that up until I would say the middle of last year. My skin has just been going crazy since then. So I've just been in repair mode ever since. So what you'll see me do next is I am going to pat dry my face after rinsing it off thoroughly, rinsing the CeraVe off. I'm using paper towel to pat dry my face. It's just more hygienic. Um, you can use, of course, you can use a bath cloth or towel, but you want to make sure that it is thoroughly cleansed in your washing machine, and you want to make sure that it's cleansed with product that you know for sure won't break you out. I'm not saying that your items aren't clean, you know, like your hand towels or, you know, whatever the case may be, but you could have a reaction to the uh, detergent that you're using to clean them. So... You know, keep that in mind as well. That's something that I've noticed. I think I may have a reaction to the detergent that we use to clean our clothes, our bedding, all that stuff with. It's also very important. Um, you see me right here showing you the different uh, brush heads that come in there. So you get all four of those in there and the batteries are not included. So keep that in mind. You do have to use four AA batteries. So next I'm using my toner and this is a um, Heritage Stone. Uh, rose water facial toner that I got from TJ Maxx. I'm trying it out. I want to use the whole bottle up because everybody's always raving about how good this is and I am just, you know, waiting it out to see if it makes any improvements on my skin. Back to what I was saying about the detergent, it's also very important for us to make sure that we are washing our bonnets, our hair bonnet, bonnets or hair scarves on a regular basis washing your sheets and your pillowcases, all that stuff on a regular basis. They should be washed weekly, if not a couple of times a week. 
it's important to keep those things washed because of the different oils and you know dead skin cells that come off of our body and you know imagine those things getting back onto your skin and it could be causing a breakout or irritation to your skin so just keep that in mind if you're someone having trouble like me you want to make sure you're exploring every avenue to you know chill out on the breakouts as best as we can obviously i believe um half of my problem is that my breakouts may be hormonal as well so one thing that's been helping me with the breakouts is the neutrogena on the spot acne treatment right now it's working um i think if my breakouts got really bad like before i would go back to my aveeno acne wash that i used to get i'll link it down below but that worked as well so i'm just going to rub this in on some of my um, trouble areas and have a few spots that i can feel under my skin that are trying to pop up i really think i may need to even go get a facial somewhere and you know maybe have some extractions done i guess that's what would happen i'm not sure but i feel like that's what i need so that's something if it gets worse i'll start exploring that I'm trying to avoid going to a dermatologist because i really don't feel like they're going to help me very much i'll be completely honest so that's where my head is at with that but you know it's a work in you know progress i am you know doing whatever i think i need to do to get my skin back on track drinking tons of water i have changed my eating habits and i just just got to keep moving forward with that so i'm going to rub that in after i rub that in i then need to pick my moisturizer so i have two options i can either go with the CeraVe daily moisturizing lotion or a palmer's cocoa butter lotion and for my nighttime routine, I usually go with the Palmer's Cocoa Butter, honestly, because I feel like it has helped and heal my skin and helped um, in working on those dark marks, which is why I use daytime sunscreen. Um, if you are, um, you know, African-American woman, we need to use sunscreen as well, because if we do have any hyperpigmentation, we don't want it to get darker. So we need to use sunscreen. I will link the sunscreen I use down below or maybe I'll do a daytime skincare routine video. But I'm just rubbing that Palmer's into my face. I love cocoa butter. I think it works amazing. I'll recommend it to anybody. Once I rub that in, I rub some in on my neck as well. Just make sure I really get in there good. After that, I then put on my lip balm. Um, the lip balm I'm using is the Jack Black Minty Lip Balm. I think it's got like a shea butter in it or something like that i'm not quite sure i don't really have it in front of me but it's super minty and i love it y'all i got it from sephora so i'll make sure i link that down below as well but i love putting um chapstick on before bed it just leaves your lips feeling extremely moisturized when you wake up obviously brush your teeth first i've already did all that before this video but you know go in there and put that on right before bed and it leaves your lips feeling just absolutely glamorous So we are now at the end of the video. Please don't forget to check out Duval uh, Spin Care System for your facial spinning brush needs. Um, I will put my code and information down below in the description box. Make sure to use the code Wendy Renee for 70% off of the item. And I will talk to y'all again in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.